Last August, during the London Olympics, seven Cameroonian athletes deserted the Olympic Village. A few weeks later, five of the seven athletes' boxers reappeared in a boxing gym in the south of the British capital. After several interviews with the English, their, request, their, sorry, their request for political asylum has been rejected. Today, they face possible deportation. In August, seven athletes, including five boxers, one swimmer and a footballer, deserted the London Olympics and fainted in nature. And yet we find the five boxers, Thomas Asomba, Hyacinth Mawali Abdon and Christian Serge Donfak Amombo, practicing boxing in a gym in the Double Jab Club in South London. This boxing club wasn't used to receiving Olympic athletes, so for them it was a big surprise. So we, all of a sudden we were just in shock. You know, we got five Olympic boxers come walking through the door. So it was, it was a big shock to us, you know. But uh, it was a good shot. All the kids rallied round. They all wanted to talk to them and get autographs of them and train with them. It was really good, like, actually. Yeah, really good. For more than five weeks, the African boxers were integrated into the life of the club, training five times a week, sharing their knowledge with the youngest boxers in the club despite the language barriers. Because it's boxing, it's a universal language. All boxers speak the same language. We, we welcome anyone who boxes from anywhere in the world. As soon as they come to the door, we realise they were boxers and they, who they were. Obviously, their estimations went up. You know, we realised they were very good boxers, Olympians, and it was an honour to see them and come to the club. You know, we was very honoured. But then, what can the African athletes expect from the United Kingdom, a country that is often perceived as a European El Dorado? Political asylum, why not? A chance to turn professional. Since their arrival at the club, Thomas Osomba and his partners had two interviews with the English Immigration Service, the Home Office. After the third appointment here in London in early November, the five boxers won't go back. We contacted the Home Office to find out what's happened to them. Through their spokesperson, we received this news. The vast majority of members of the Olympic family immediately left the UK after the Games. Members of the Olympic family not belonging to the European Union and those whose visas had expired must immediately leave the UK. We will identify those who have not yet left the UK and we will take steps to remove them. So little hope of seeing the Cameroon athletes in the Ring Boxing Club in Double Jab. <laughs> Well, very sad, actually, because we did strike up a good friendship with them and uh, they're very nice and genuine and honourable people and, you know, it's, it's sad to see what happened to them. I prefer them to be in this country and train with us and go through them and realise their dreams. Their dream is to become professional boxers. In their own country, they're not going to be given the chance. That's what really annoys me, really, because you've got a lot of talent there just being wasted, like, you know. One can understand the disappointment of the coach. The club wrote to the immigration services for the English reminding them that these athletes were seen as role models in a part of London where the crime toll is important. And it was a pleasure to have them at the club. If their application for the visa extension was rejected, everyone at the club would be disappointed to lose five boxers, but most importantly, five friends. The five boxers should take the road to Cameroon shortly. Regarding the other two athletes, they are still in nature.